ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second round. Wasn't that first round exciting? And right here we have Eric Emery and the Crusher versus Miguelito Perez and Hurricane Castillo Jr. And it started out with a bang. Hugo. Okay, it gets more exciting. We've got two top winners here. And the winners of this match will advance to the finals. That's right. You know, right there you got, like I said, Miguelito Perez, Hurricane Castillo Jr., both sons of great wrestlers and but you've got eric emery the crusher and that good looking old girl out there with him sasha who is and a definitely eric, an added player. eric emery and the crusher don't care about what the fathers did miguelitos and castillo they want to get the win here and the coliseum is rocking and we're glad that you have bought this tape and you're with us because this is excitement that the war wrestling council brings to the wrestling fans that love this great sport miguelito all over Eric Embry. You know, Eric Embry, not that big, but he is sneaky and dangerous. Well, he's got an evil mind, and, he, and he's got a body to carry it out, which is pretty good, you know. I'd like to say thing, you know, uh, EG Productions puts out probably some of the best professional wrestling tapes, and no professional wrestling fan's library is complete without all the sets of all the EG tapes. As you know, Lukovinovich, I've been blessed with being on four or five of them. You've been on most of them. But since my commentary has come on, the sales have gone up tremendously yeah well i'm on a contract you get the super money because you're the star you have to talk to eg about this well, you know how that is baby you can demand the high prices when you're in demand yeah you come in here with a limo everything paid super money and, and i'm gonna be insulted don't about the girls i had okay look at this double team effort by miguelito and castillo paying off fantastically here as eric Ember is down on the campus and the Puerto Rican team are doing great. Okay, here we go, Miguelito. Well, they're definitely completely in the driver's seat in this match so far, but I think that Eric Emery and the Crusher put themselves at a disadvantage right away when they tried to when they tried to go to Fifth City with them. They should have laid back and wrestled these guys a little bit, waited for them to make a mistake. I thought they wanted just to get a cheap victory from behind. Well, I'll tell you something. All this backfired on them. That's, That's right. All it did. Backfired right they on. They took them. chances and it didn't pay off the way they wanted. And now it's working great for Miguelito and Castillo's purposes of winning because now they have the fans into the match. And now Eric Embry is upset. He's been hurt right now. And the crusher, he cannot deal with the noise. And so is Sasha. She is worried outside the ring. Well, I'll tell you something. You know, you think about this second round. These Look at her. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Maybe she's the one that gave me her phone number. I can't remember. Okay, here it comes Castillo. Right there, you, right there you see Castillo. Okay, oh, referee. Yeah. The referee was distracted by was Sasha. A close line right there. Illegal. The man is probably going to be, if the man would be pinned, it should have been right there. The man should have got on the man and pinned him. One, two, three. Well, there was no referee to count because the referee was too busy looking at Sasha, which I cannot really blame Boy, because we was, were looking at her. That was a devastating clothesline, wasn't it? Yeah. Look at her. She's happy. Oh, yeah, that crusher. What a, what a good right. What a left hand there. Oh, the boot right in the midsection. Very That's low, very low boot. I thought it was about right in the midsection, right where it should have been. Okay, the crusher all over. Castillo, the Hurricane Castillo in trouble. And things are looking even worse because here comes Eric Embry. Sadistic Eric Embry. He oh, loves yeah. hurting people. Yeah, he likes beating people up. He's my kind of guy, you know. I, I like him. He, oh, yeah, both of them back in the turn. But that'll, that'll rearrange your back. You don't need a chiropractor after that. Yeah. Well, getting into the point of the chiropractic, I think the fans you know that the wrestlers spend a lot of money here. On those visits. Oh, yeah. A lot Quite of, a bit. A lot of Mercedes and Rolls Royce of, of this famous uh, chiropractic doctors have been uh, bought for by the wrestler. Yeah. That's right. Right there, you see Castillo Jr. had enough sense <laughs> to raise up from that elbow, but he hasn't got enough sense to go to his corner. Right there, Eric Emery's going to get the tag, the fresh man in the ring. That's the main thing in tag team wrestling when you're hurt. Get that fresh man in the ring. And here he comes. Big Alito, he's fresh. And he's ready, and he's all over Eric Embry. Good combination of punches over Embry. He throws him to the top buckle. Here it comes. Wow, the Puerto Rican temper exploding all over Eric Embry. And oh. he's in trouble. Crusher gets hit hard. Oh, knock him right off that apron, I'm telling you. Whoa. Oh. And, and his Embry. head oh. went right against the ring post. I think his head is wide open. 
he might not be able to continue because he was hit so hard he has never seen the post oh look at that oh, blood everywhere blood everywhere he just he just busted wide oh, open on and that things are Smith, but worse now. Both. good punches right to the, the place where he's bleeding from well i'll tell you something you know big Leo perez right now has definitely got eric emery at a disadvantage low blow right there as you it's, see the man's already hurt his, his head blonde hair, open. Is, blonde hair is turning red i'll tell you something it, to me this is just you know he should have gotten disqualified when he ran the man's head in the pole, I think. Well, Bobby, they went out to rough house on Miguelito and Castillo, and these are the results. Look at the blood over oh. his belly, his stomach. Inside his cradle, one, two. Oh, nice save. Crusher. Now, that's a disqualification if I ever seen oh. one there. The man's head busted open. He should Look have been. That. Oh, inside cradle again by Castillo. Oh, another, another, another save. save. You got to do this to tag team. Right? Look at the man's head. I tell you right now, Perez there's, should have been disqualified for running the man's head in the pole. Everybody knows that. There's, oh. there's blood on the stomach, on the chest area, all over. Oh, drop kick him right in the face. Look at that bloody, and bloody Eric man. Emery has be oh. What a kick by. Well, right there, he crusher. didn't have enough in him to even kick out of the that. The only hole, thing that good. saved Eric Emery was the crusher. He's on a corner. He's bleeding. Look out. Ugh. Oh. See, kicking that man right there where the laceration is above his left eye. And here goes Hurricane Castillo Jr. throwing the man in a row. Big backdrop. Okay, but Eric Ember is not quitting. He's still fighting. He's still fighting. There you go. Crusher keeps coming in that ring. Now, see, there's no tags here between Big Lito Perez and Hurricane Castillo Jr. They're just running around here. They're just running out of the ring, beating up on the They want the win. Busted open. They want the win. They could They're sense cheating. the win. Eric Ember is hurt. Hey, he's hurt, and they're going for the win. Look out, what a oh, beautiful. Sorry, oh, yeah. Oh, reversal. Reversal, he's got him hooked. Three, there's three, three seconds. Count right there. Impressive. I got to give Eric Henry credit. I'll tell you that. Impressive battle. He's a bloody mess. He's going to have problems down the line when he reaches the finals. And now let's take you into the Rock and Roll RPMs and the Sambu Express, Elijah Keenan, Kareem Mohammed.